Well, hello, hello, hello. Let's just say I just got out for a bit. <laughs> Yesterday I headed out to go see mom and the BFF was going with me because it was one of those days where she happened to be off same day I am. So that's really unusual when you your BFF has worked in retail for 30 years. Um, so she went with and we stopped at Dollar Tree because I told her that I needed to still, I was still on the lookout for, of all things, these. So I nailed them at the uh, Dollar Tree in San Dimas. These are the boxes I need to do V&A's uh, swap. So I have a couple, the two I need, and there's another one over on the other table. I forgot to grab and put it back here. So I have the ones I need and a couple to spare. I'm still going to keep the red ones I bought in Tahoe, and I'll save them for a future swap for maybe we'll do one for 4th of July or maybe one for Christmas. Who knows? But I, I now know. And they were really nice. So if anybody's looking for them, don't just settle for what you see on the shelves or not. Ask the clerks. I think I found like one or two of them. My BFF took it upon said, do you have more in the back? And they did. So they brought me out two more so that I had four. And for a buck and a quarter, guys, can't be beat. So now I'm excited to start decorating because I know exactly what I want to do. And it wasn't going to work with the red. It was making me crazy. That is a very short trip. Let's see, what other goodies that I got? I got these. Terribly not exciting, I know. But for, hey, a buck and a quarter, there's eight of them. And I am working on a Diamond Dots. It's um, the irises from Van Gogh. And they're all in these little kind of cellophane bags that are making me crazy. So I am going to, like, tape the number on the bead, like maybe on the lid, and put them in these. I think they're going to be much more user-friendly. So I grabbed three bags and I'm thinking that's enough of them. I actually don't think so. But, you know, I can always go back for more. So we'll figure them out. So I picked these up. Really cool. I mean, just the right size. Let's see. What else do I have in this bag of tricks? Um, I'm also collecting the Gumaflachis for the trade, the swap. And I picked up these butterfly stickers because they're butterflies. And they were really cute. And while I do not think these larger ones are going to fit into these spaces, I'm positive there's no way they're going to. Yep, yeah, nope. The little guys will. So we're going to split them up amongst the boxes, the, the little butterflies. So that they're, oh, look, these are different. Oh, I didn't notice that. Wow. Okay, anyway. So we have these really, really pretty, again, at the Dollar Tree. So guys, go check out your Dollar Tree and kind of scout it out. I have a really good one in San Dimas, which is one of my, not my closest one, but my next closest. You know, it's, it's I have like two like within five minutes of me. The other one is probably seven. San Dimas is more like 10 or 12. Oh, goodness gracious. And they're two in San Dimas. That's like the town next to me. So I have within a 10-minute driving radius about five Dollar Trees. So I'm like in the trifecta of Dollar Trees. Don't hate me. So it allows me to find. But, you know, and like I said, I had not been able to find the boxes over here at mine. Um, but I, can, I got lucky in Tahoe. And, of course, now suddenly I got lucky in San Dimas. Um, I then picked up these. These are fabric gift bags. They're super cute, but if you can tell, let me see, can I open? Oh, yeah, I can put one for the bottom. I'm going to take one of either these or I'll show you the other ones that are super stinking adorable. But they're just little gift bags. Look how cute they are. So it almost like they have ears because they're cut in a triangle and they already have the bunny face on them. And then you tie them up with a piece of twine. And there they are. How many are there are here? And there's four of them to um, a package so you might want to go check out not all i'm gonna tell you this right now not all dollar trees are created equal because when i went to hobby lobby and that's the other bag you're going to see on friday peanut gallery and i went um it was the first time i've walked out of hobby lobby empty handed it was picked pretty dry so it just depends it's the luck of you getting there when stuff comes in and and whatever and we're getting we're closing in on easter so they're getting bought out of stuff to put in Easter baskets for those of us who make Easter baskets. Um, oh, look, I did put the other box in here. So here's the other box. So that makes four of these I got. I found these were the only stickers of the gold ones. So I'll probably include them. In, um, and the TV just turned on loud. Hello. Peanut gallery. Thank you. Uh, I didn't tell you I was recording. Who else am I talking to? He thinks I talk to myself in this kind of a voice. <laughs> okay, anyway. So we have butterfly stickers. 
So, and I will just include them with the other butterfly stickers because this was the only package I could find, but they were really, really, really cute. And these are small enough to fit into one of those. So we'll make a combination of butterflies stickers. Let's see, what else have I got? Oh, I picked up, look what I found. Tons of confettis. So I have them in all kinds of, in all the colors. Let me see, can I find the other ones? Because I got them in like four colors. Let me see if I can find them. No, I not just the stars. Let me take it back. Because look at here, we have happy birthday ones. These are all shaker bits. Here are the blue ones, blue stars. Um, let's see. Here are look at these. These are all little birthday cakes. Aren't they stinking adorable? But they'll be great for like birthday shaker cards. Here are look at that party hats. So all colors in party hats. And then what do we got here? Oh, balloons. Balloons and stars. So both, again, for any celebration, really. And then silver stars. I picked these all up for a buck and a quarter a piece. And these were not in the crafting section, just so you know. These were over in the party section. And I now know to spread out my searches. So I went to the party section to see what I can find. And maybe I'll put some, some sort of shaker bits in one of the little containers. We'll see because it's like, okay, I was on the lookout for things that I could use that I could include for embellishments for the swap. And the rest are, hello, I can use for, um, oh goodness gracious, just for shaker bits. And then, oh, I found these. These were too stinking adorable. They no longer have any because I bought the three packages of Lepa. Look how cute these are. So we will include the flamingo stickers. I mean, I figure I'll take, I can fit one little square with a sheet of, you know, one sheet per. So aren't these just adorable? They're just too stinking cute. So it's a good thing I walked out empty handed because I hit pay dirt at the one in San Dimas. So, but they are just, you know, they're just too cute. They were too adorable. I'm like, Oh, yay. Okay. Let's see all these. I needed That's something else. Yay. Um, I got these guys because I don't know why. Because I, I can't, for what I'm planning on decorating, they don't match for the boxes. And they're too, I think, they're dimensional. But they were really cute because they're basically the little pine trees painted orange and turned upside down. And Raffia added, and now you have a couple of little carrots. But I figured, oh, I can use these to de decorate around here. But super, super cute. So there you go. I got all oh, these guys. I, I pretty much grabbed, I think, like, there are two a piece. But these two are treat bags. So you can see here, they're the drawstring, but they have the bunny ears. So I got enough for the grandkids and then also for the swap so that my treats go, I can put this in a treat because this lies pretty flat as soon as I figure out what my treat is going to be, I hope. So that's the other thing. I still have to figure out what my little treat is and I have to make a card as well. So I need to get cracking on these things. So there are the little cute little bunny bags. So you might want to take a look at your... Dollar Tree, because they had plenty at mine, but that, you know how that is. Oh, there we go. I know another bag of these, of the little bottles, but you never know how long things are going to last. And then I found these where they're the, the gemstones, the sort of gemstone flowers. Again, will make very, very cool little um, embellishments to be added. So I think that I only got two bags. I'm kind of surprised. But I did get those, and then... I got these stickers because I can just roll them up. So I should have three of them just because I have three boxes I'm planning on filling. So I figure I'll cut them into strips and then just roll them all up and put them in there. But they're very springy, very just really, really pretty. So I thought, yep, that works. So we have flowers and we have gemstone stickers. This is cool. I, have, um, I haven't even shown peanut gallery yet. This is going to go up on a refrigerator for when we have guests over. Love this. Wi-Fi, sweet, sweet Wi-Fi. Then everybody can see what our Wi-Fi password is, who comes over, who wants to use the Wi-Fi. So I thought that was really, really adorable. So we add that to the pile of loot. And then I picked up these guys. Again, I'm going to roll them up and include them as part of the embellishments in my little box. I figure I'll just roll this up really tight because it comes... Uh, the, it, the cardboard actually shoot I mean we'll, we'll see I may have to really really roll it tight because it's not as I thought it was in in pretty and if you see look at that so I'm gonna take it off the spool and roll it as tight as I can and hopefully fit it into one of those but that's what I plan is to be super generous 
with the stuff I got. And then let's see, I got these. These are knobs, cute little crystal knobs. And that is because I'll show you, and I'll show you the 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 the, the evil plan I have with these knobs. Something, and I, and then I got one silver one that looks all kind of vintagey and tarnished, and and in general very very cool. So I got these again for a buck and a quarter. But I'll show you. It's something I just saw recently on YouTube. I'm like, oh, I got to do that. I have la almost last but not least, I got just a decorative sign. Really really cute welcome spring with a truck on it that I thought would look really, really cute that I thought peanut gallery would approve. So we have our cute little sign here and you know what? I am so sorry. I should, let me zoom. Uh, no, not tight in. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we, now you can guys can see it better, but it's really cute. I'm, again, for a buck and a quarter. I mean, it's just cheap Melanie. Do not, if you get any of these, don't put them outside. Don't put them with a sun. It has direct exposure to the sun. It will fade. They, it's, they're not all that like <gasps> high end at all, but hello for what you pay for. One cannot complain. And then last but not least, I picked up this, another long one, but it's a dangly one, but look how pretty that is. Just, you know, the flowers and a bee and a butterfly. And I thought that was really, really, really pretty. So that is what I got. So I got one of these because I couldn't resist. They were just really, really too cute. So let me put some of this stuff back in the bag real quick so I can clear some space. I didn't get very much at Hobby Lobby. I was on the same search, just looking for things that I could include for the ephemera swap. So won't make a, that made enough space. Okay, so now if we grab the Hobby Lobby bag again, that's, that's all I grabbed. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to make it dizzy. So I picked up, see, butterflies was in my brain. So I picked up these too. So we'll see how or how we combine it and include those because those are really, really pretty. And Easter stuff is already 40% off at, um, at Hobby Lobby. So I picked up two packages of those. And then also, I forget if these are spring was 40 or 50%, but at least 40%. So I thought that would be something I could include. At least I could put, I think, two it without squishing them into one of the cells there. And you know, so one light one, one dark one, cause they're really, really pretty, really nice. And again, there were only two bucks by the time you pay a little bit over two bucks if you're doing 40%. And I guess flowers were really in my brain. Cause then I picked up these two again. And I think these are actually 50% off. I think spring this stuff, I could be wrong, but I think they were 50% off. So I picked up the felt, these little felt flowers, which already have a dimensional pop up on them too but super super adorbs and then let me pull them all out at once I picked up these so I figure I can and I may go back for more depending on how many it takes me to fill one of those cells but I figure I put a smattering of each of these because these were Easter colors and they were super super cute so I thought that would work out for the also the the swap for some of the ephemera so and there's 12 squares in that. So I'm pretty close to, I think, filling it all. Um, and then I just kind of scurried around and always see what kind of trouble I can get into. Um, Metal Gallery was 50% off and I am planning on making a um, traveler's notebook. I've been promising you guys a tutorial. I'm going to start on that and I'm doing, but it's going to be more of a gardening as opposed to a traveler's notebook. It's going to be more of a gardening journal and some flowers are my favorite. And this was 50% off. So metal gallery was on sale last week at Hobby Lobby and there's always in the jewelry department, there's always something on sale, 50% off. You just have to rotate and, and figure it out. I may start keeping a ready list. So I know more or less, cause they seem to be pretty consistent, but I, it's really, it's really, really, really pretty. I love this sunflower. So yes, mine. Um, I picked up, they had stamps on, on clearance. So I picked these up, this one and this one. Those are the only ones. I think those are the only ones. Now you will see what the evil plan is with the, what did I do with them? Did I put them back in the bag now? The knobs? I think I did. Hang on a second. This is just on a tutorial I recently saw. So I saw this and the person who was showing it sanded off, or this is like a sticker. I can feel it peeled it off and then sanded it and then painted it all up pretty and then drilled a hole. And there you go. You put this knob through it and I it would probably take, it's going to take me cutting the screw off a little bit, but
but you put it through and glue it basically in place. And then you put felt or fun foam on it. And suddenly now you have a stamp buddy for your um, Misty. So all right, that's what I'm going to do with all of these is I'm going to immediately unmount them. So this is going to be like a, this could be a really good two for tutorial, huh? How to do that and how to unmount clear, uh, these kind of stamps off of the wood, the wood base. So there is that. So that was the evil project I have for those. By the way, and by, aside from the fact that I did want these stamps, you know, I got one, uh, are my initial and Steve's initial. So I should have gotten a D. No, no, what was I thinking? I have to go back and see if I see a D. Um, mine is still clearing out some of the Christmas or all of the Christmas, spe um, spellbinders, um, excuse me, Sizzix and Momentas. And I went ahead and picked up this glimmer plate because it was far too cheap. And I thought, wait a minute, because I thought, I'm not sure I would use this on the outside of a card, but back going, hearkening back to where I'm wanting to decorate the insides of cards. I thought, wait a minute, I can glimmer the sentiment and this on the inside of the card and make the inside as pretty at the outside. So that's the evil plan I have for this one. So we'll see. Um, last but not least, again, in the bead aisle, I picked up these little guys. Actually, this is for my last one. So I guess you found it on the floor. So I know I picked up these and I thought, oh no, they had some bigger ones, but I really did not feel I was going to use them. So I grabbed just these and they're just a metallic looking kind of merry. And then I picked up these because I thought they'd be cool to use in the dangles. But if you look at them, different ones, it's almost like they're geodish. So they have little bits of sparkle, do you see, on them. But I thought they'd be really cool when I make the dangles for the gardening notebook that I plan on making. But that really is it, as if that wasn't enough. That was the trouble I got into this weekend. So hopefully you, I mean, just go out there, guys, and always keep a track of your Dollar Tree, your 99 cent store. I haven't hit that one yet in quite a while. Dollar Tree is doing much better for crafting lately. But don't forget to check those because you'd be amazed at what you find that is usable. Like all of this, hello, this is party. This is like table scatter, but it's also great for shaker cards. So we're just going to put these all in the bag for right now, and then I'll put them away. And then I'll start putting all my emptying all of my little envelopes of the little things I have for the current project from Diamond Dots. And there you have it. So hopefully you enjoyed my little haul here. If you did, go ahead and drop me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more madness, then by all means, subscribe, ring the bell, because I'm always coming back. I promise you on Wednesday, I'm going to have a new project video. I'm just finishing rendering it and I'll be uploading it to YouTube. So it's going to go live Wednesday morning. Okay, I'm going to try my goal is to go at least project-wise um, two or three a week. That's probably about as good as I can get without making myself crazy. And then I'll squeeze in my little shopping sprees and my mail calls in between to give more content, okay? So thanks a lot. Thanks for hanging in with me, for being patient while I get my, my colossal act together. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And meanwhile, don't forget, we are all a little mad here. So come and scrap the madness together with me. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.